Here we have a board which is coming from Telangana and this is a pulse oximeter board. I don't know which pulse oximeter is this. So they said uh, they cross check with another machine and uh, found the problem is uh, with here. So can you send me, uh, can you uh, repair this thing? And I said, okay, well, let's have a try and uh, ask them. And they sent via courier and now it's with me. Uh, and the board is almost like this. So after a long time, we are going to uh, work on the microscope. So I'm very excited now. Uh, let's check whether we can finish this work or not. So now we can look, uh, we can check visually. And I'm seeing if there is any burn marks or not. Clean, 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 okay. Sometimes component have corrosion components having the same issue and, uh, and in this board there is no corrosion. So we we can go with uh, physical examination, visual examination. But this capacitor is little bit of uh, color changing, so we can check it later. Opposite side, we are looking now. It's clean, clean. Clean, 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 yes, mm -hmm. clean. So, what would be the issue? That's the thing we should. We should uh, check by the multimeter. So I'm taking my multimeter out and let's see what is happening there. Usually I'll, I'll go with uh, uh, capacitors and resistors first. So this one also I'm going with capacitor first. So so this time also I'm going with capacitor. I can see some capacitors over here and especially i have a doubt in this capacitor right here because i can see some color changing uh, using my microscope and this one is also a capacitor okay let's check uh, this thing this uh, this capacitors first uh, put your multimeter into a continuity mode and check it showing 17.2 ohms which is not good and this one also 17.2 which is also not good So the board might be, oh, this capacitor looks good. It's showing 0 
six nine six, which is good. And this one. Showing 1.792, which is good. Sixteen point nine, which is not good. Actually, the board is uh, half shattered, so we should find which component uh, makes that issue. Because you know, uh, sometimes uh, what will happen is uh, if the if the capacitors is fully shattered, it will show around 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 uh, value. But here uh, we can see uh, 17.2 ohms, which is not good. Because you know, uh, in in fully shattered machine, you can uh, you can um, um, inject the voltage and uh, see the uh, see the heating spot and and uh, and you know we can uh, we can uh, get a conclusion of which component is is getting bad. But in this area, uh, we should uh, we should uh, we should apply some uh, you know uh, uh, our uh, our internal uh knowledge so uh, so what i'm going to do is first now uh, first as my guess i will i will try to remove this cap this uh, this big cap and after that uh, i will check this uh, side components because uh, because of this the maybe because of this thing uh, uh, full uh, this uh, capacitors are having a half shattered thing so now what I'm going to do is just remove this cap first and then we will see whether it will work or not so I'm taking my soldering iron now So how are you everyone? I hope you are good and fine. After a long time I'm posting a micro soldering video. So and most of the sub subscribers uh, are watching but uh, non subscribed people are also watching. So please do con consider and uh, watch my videos regularly so that you can have a, a little bit understanding of uh, uh, PCBs and SMDs and SMPs uh, and I am also going to uh, start a training uh, with John Gastro Hospital as soon as possible after that we will be there and uh, it is a certified course if you are interested you can you can whatsapp me or mail me whatever so before that I need to put some okay. Now everything is ready. Okay. Okay, we removed the capacitor. Okay, after removing this uh, capacitor, the values are to show the value. Zero point two six four, which is not uh, having any continuity, but before it was showing continuity. And here two six four, which is fine, and six seven five, which is fine, and uh, uh, 
R264, which is fine. Uh, yeah, so we did it already, and uh, we should find the same capacitor here. We should find the same capacitor here. This one. and replace the capacitor in this board after that this board will work uh, yes that's it that's it for now i'm gonna clean my clean my board now So this is a thing. Whenever you are uh, you are playing with SMDs, you should know where and how to find the problems. And uh, you you have uh, you have to use your uh, inner experience uh, to find which and uh, which place we should uh, start and uh, which place we should end. And uh, and yeah, in this video, I got some uh, some. A doubt on that uh, capacitor because of that uh, color and you know uh, some some things so uh, I just uh, removed that cap now and now uh, the, the half shot will uh, half shot gone so hopefully it will work after play after replacing this capacitor um, and uh, hope you like this video <sighs> Let's see. So that's it. Uh, the board has been repaired, and uh, we saw where the problem is. And uh, bad capacitor. I need to order that one uh, today itself. So um, if if the same capacitor is available in market, we can arrange and uh, send it uh, to the customer. And uh, hope you like this video and don't forget to like and subscribe comment if you have any question we'll see you soon with another video bye bye